welcome to Living with Lisa. Today in this video, I'm going to be bringing you guys a review on the new Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. So if you guys are interested, just stay tuned and keep watching. Now you guys, I have been trying to get my hands on this skin tint for the longest. Like Fenty Beauty has been advertising it and I used to get so mad because the actual color that I needed was never in stock. So recently, just like a week or two ago, I just happened to just scroll through the website. I was like, they probably don't have my shade. And I clicked on it and y'all, they had it. I, when I tell y'all I added that to the cart so fast, I really did. And it got here in just a few days and I was so thirsty to use it. <laughs> so for this skin tint, I'm actually number 17. And the actual matte foundations, not the compact, but the liquid matte. I am 385. However, my skin tone changes throughout the year, so I can range from 375 to 385. I'm actually the 385 right now because it's summertime and I have a little bit of a tan to me, so yes. Um, I don't like to just give one number because my skin really does change. So what I'm gonna do for you guys is show you what my skin looks like before the skin tint and after the skin tint so you can see how much coverage and I'm facing in the natural light so you guys are going to see everything and I want you guys to know the truth like how much does this stuff really cover up okay you guys so this is what my face is looking like before I apply the skin tint um, as you can see I do have a little bit of discoloration a few little acne blemishes but my skin has gotten so much better since I visited the dermatologist um, and I just wanted something that could be light and something that can hide that and just make my face look, you know, even colored all the way around. So when I personally apply skin tint or foundation, I use my hands, but I always make sure my hands are clean and washed before I do that because you don't want to transfer the bacteria from your hands to your face. So what I'm about to do is just squeeze a little bit on my finger. And then I'm going to put a few dots on my face. So I put a few on my cheeks. I'm gonna put a few on my forehead. Shoot, that I just get it on my eyebrow. <laughs> and I'm going to put a little bit on my chin. And I'm gonna just blend that in. Oh, and I do put a little bit on my eyelids because I do have dark circles somewhat, so I wanted to hide that. So let's go ahead and just rub that in. Honestly, you guys, it feels like a lotion. It's really light. Um, and as you can see, it, it's like not full coverage at all. Something very light and something very, you know, um, simple. Then I'm going to take my beauty blender to really finish blending the foundation on my face. So yeah, this is what my face looks like with the skin tint. As you can see, it looks very natural. It's not very cakey. Um, it's not real dewy. It's not real matte. It's kind of like the perfect combination. You can see just like a little sheen across my face. Now what I'm gonna go do is complete my face. I'm going for a more everyday natural look. So I might put on a little bit of eyeliner and some mascara and maybe a little bit of blush. And I'll be right back. So honestly, after a week of using the skin tint, I will tell you guys that I feel like initially for the first few hours, it looks amazing. It looks super natural. Um, but at the end of the day, like around eight hours later, my skin looks like a greaser. Um, honestly, when my face is really oily, it kind of messes with my skin and I break out a little bit more. So yes, having that shine looks good. Like people are like, oh, you're glowing. You look good or whatever, but 
I'm also gonna more prone to breaking out. So I think I would have better luck using this product in the winter time because like I'm just not gonna have to combat a lot of like humidity or like sweat in the sun, all of that stuff. So I think I'm gonna give this another try in the winter time. However, on days that it's not super hot, I will definitely be using this again because I think that it does give me a nice natural glow. I just need a little bit more longevity for me. So thank you so much for tuning into this video today. If you guys like what you saw, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know if you end up using the skin tint and what your thoughts are on this product as well. So I will see you guys next time on Living With Lisa. Bye.